Hello, and welcome to the Rolling Cloud Academy. I am Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today we will look into how to find, preview, edit, and save drum sounds in Xenology Pro. If you don't have Xenology Pro already installed on your computer, please go watch the video about installing Xenology Pro and the model expansions. So right now I'm gonna use Xenology Pro inside Live. So by default, you've got the synthesizer, but when you click on the browser window, you have the list of all the sounds. If you wanna see just drums, you go here in the filter section in the category on the right, you click on it and you only see the sounds that are part of the drum category. If you wanna see more of them, in my case, I've got right now I'm filtered to only the factory preset. If I go all, these are all the drums I have because I have on this station, the Roland Cloud Ultimate install. So I've got all the extension, all the banks and patches. And when you click one, you basically load the different drum kit. Okay, let's just load a 808 comp, which is part of the factory preset. If I press play on the sequence, you see visually sounds being triggered. And it gives you the information about which sound is being played right now. This is one way to see the information. You've got a kind of a graphic uh, design, kind of a flat design of a drum kit. You have the kick, snare, rim shot, second snare, hi-hat, slightly different hi-hats. You have open hi-hat, uh, cymbal, tum, tum, tum. Cymbal, cymbal, cymbal. So different, three different cymbals, which also is good because a symbol doesn't have just one sound and this symbol here. So this is basically your traditional layout of a drum kit. Now, this is not traditional, it's an 808 sound. You can also see in this window where you have more of pads. Um, now you look at the graphic and say, what does that mean? Well, at the top here, you've got release, decay, attack, pan, and level. These are all values that you can change for all the sound at the same time. Same thing here, if you go see this one, you've got this information level, so oh, I want this to be lower, I just click on it and I bring the volume down. You can control the volume. Now it's softer in volume or louder in volume. And if you look at it at the same time, when I move this, on the right, you have the level that changes. So when you click on one instrument, the list of control is here. You've got level, pan, the mute group. If you have two sounds in the same mute groups, you have usually this, the hi-hat is one meaning you cannot have an open and a close eye at the same time, which is technically impossible. I mean, that the one eye at can be open or closed, but cannot be at the same two states. So the mute group means if the two of them are in the mute group, well, when this plays here, it's long. If I plus this and rapidly I press the other one, I'm choking it, like a real symbol would happen and a real eye at would do. The key offset, uh, the fine tuning, the cutoff, you can filter the sound if you want. You can uh, have resonance on it. You can have attack, faster attack, faster decay, shorter. So you can play with the tag key and release. There's no sustain. These are drum sounds. And then you've got output assign. You can sign dry sound, compression one, two, three, four, five, six. You go, where are these? Well, actually they're here at the bottom. These are six different compressors that you can assign to different values, the input, output, the gain, and the ratio, and the knee, the attack, and the release. And all of this, if you have six, well, it means that six of these sounds can be compressed alone, or you can send more than one to the same. You know, you can create a, a compressor that's gonna be for just for the hi-hats, and then you assign it to six, whatever. But most people will have kick, snare, and hi-hat uh, separately, and then maybe the tums together, and the symbols together. So the six is a good um, choice or of options here. And then at the end, you also have a the multi-effect. You can send to the multi-effect either directly from the sound or after the compressor, you could go to the multi-effect. You also have fine tuning, random pitch, random panning, which is cool because if you assign, let's say a hi-hat to this, listen to this, that's uh, a little bit funny. Then you're, I, I put it to random pitch, okay. Let 
we got rhythm pan now. When you have alternate pan, but it does, every time it plays, it plays one side change every time we play the, the second. So first one is left, second one is right, and it plays. So these are different ways to create movement in your sound, which is pretty cool. You can play multi, so multi notes or single note. You can have no sustain or with sustain. If you don't know what something is, you can go into menu, help, and we will get a very nice PDF information. Then you also have an EQ. You can turn on the EQ and tweak the sound the way you want. You've got three points for the EQ two shelving, and a peaking EQ. And for each of the sound, you can have a different EQ. If you want to change the sound, you play the sound you want, so then it's selected here, click here, and then you change the sample. Okay, I like this one, double click. So it works. Now, if you really want to have more control over this, um, you can go into the Pro Edit, and then you've got almost a full synthesizer control. You've got two waves, you can load stereo sound for each of them, you can control um, the effects, the level, the tuning for each of them separately, and then you also have a compressor control, like we had talked earlier, the key parameter, so per key, per sound, if you want. Um, then you've got the key EQ again per key. Every key, every note on your keyboard has its own control. And not just the one that you saw on screen, because you can go lower on the keys and higher also, and have a lot more than just the one that you see here. Um, and then you have all of this, uh, the wave, and you've got filters, you've got envelopes for the pitch, time and level, the full feature envelope. If you want to know more about the time and level envelopes, go see the other video about Xenology Pro sound design where I explain how the envelope works. Same thing here for the filter, again, time and level. So, and for the amplitude, again, the envelope for the So, when you go into Pro Edit, you've got a lot more control about how you can control your sounds. When it's ready and you like the sound, you go right and then you save it to your bank and it's gonna be saved where I want. Thank you for watching, put your comments below.